Hi guys, it's Rick here. Still struggling away trying to figure out why we have empty pockets. Uh, been waiting on some parts for the grand hauler. We did a bunch of sub assemblies and things. Today we're trying to put some uh, rubber mat steps, anti slip stuff, onto the steps because it's just too much chrome. And we got glare everywhere. It's just all straight chrome. So that's we need some we need some. Uh, some step strips in here so that's what we did with this we got the the anti-slip step in there and I think that's a little detail so to do that we took some sticky vinyl cut it into little tiny strips and then we're gonna put them on there so let's okay see. let's see if we can get some anti-skid little mats into this step. It's a small detail. Hopefully it'll kind of make it pop pretty good. Okay. A guy with bad hands working on small things, that's really a good idea, huh? This is, did one already, now I'm fully experienced. This is going pretty good. Probably just chink myself, jinx myself there. Eh? What do you think, Mrs. Empty Pockets? I'm sure you're gonna beat this one. <laughs> yeah, I jinxed myself. I can't even get this one and done. Oh, there we go. Okay. I think that looks a lot better myself. Looks like we got some anti-skid stuff on there. Grand hauler advances another small step. Let me grab some uh, fuel tanks and we'll, uh, well, let's do the air tanks. We got the matte black out. Let's do some air tank straps. Okay, Mrs. Empty Pockets, hands only. Hands only will be seen by the general public. She gets her little cutter board out. Now, so, that would be a banding clamp here, and a banding clamp here on an air tank. And then these are mounting blocks and mounting blocks. So I thought we'd go around the mounting block, around the band clamp, around the clamps and around the mount block. Don't need to do the screw holes. 
So two little strips there and one across there. What do you think? Sound reasonable? Yeah. Sounds good. This might fit. I think if we cut. I suppose we better measure, huh? Half an inch. What do you think? Okay. You're going to just wrap it? Oh, I'm going to wrap it because I don't need to do the screw holes here. Oh, okay. So I just need to do the edges oh, okay. on this. These okay. ones will wrap. I think uh, we don't right really here. have to do the bottom, but we can go like this. You think that needs to be wider? No, I think this one does. Definitely, yeah. yeah. But this I should be fine. I think that's good for that. So half inch? So if I make one a half inch long, it'll just kind of fit on there and give it a little definition. Get a little more director's juice here. You're uh, too long. I was just laughing because you're doing my job, man. You're unpeeling it for me. Overproducing, you little overproducer. Overachiever. in there. I don't know how these guys keep on talking while they're building. What are they going to talk about? The weather? The weather sucks. We had a big windstorm go through. Rain. Not as bad as the rest of the province. There's road washouts everywhere. And um, yeah, most of the roads are closed down to down to the lower mainland there. I don't know, is that what you guys want to talk about? Describe in detail, let me see, I'm flicking, I'm flicking. There we go, I'm getting it loose. Anyway, I can't detail this thing totally crazy because I don't have the skills. I'm old, I don't build models. Usually my craftsman skills are limited but I'm gonna do what I can to make it as good as I can make it in a small detail like this because I can't paint I don't have a steady hand or anything so the vinyl is kind of a blessing and we got so skinny there all of a sudden 